James Bond producers. They out here talking about Idris Elba. You know, maybe, could be next James Bond. Maybe. Mm. They say that they have discussed Idris Elba. So here's what the here's what they had to say. Here's what they had to say. Um, this is according to the uh, producers here. Uh, well, we know Idris. We're friends with him, and he's a magnificent actor. And you know, it's been part of the conversation. But it's always difficult to have these com- the, the conversation when you have someone in the seat. So you know. I think we have decided that until No Time to Die has had its run and Daniel uh, Craig has been able to, well, we've been able to savor, reap the benefits of Daniel Craig's wonderful tenure, we're not going to think about or talk about anyone else. Okay. Okay. So, you know, I think it's, it's, it would be stupid if you are a James Bond producer and you never sat here and at least considered Idris Elba. So that has been like one of the top picks for people for like how long? For for years now, you know? So like, why wouldn't you talk about Idris Elba? Now, my, my bigger problem is the fact that like y'all are sitting here taking forever. Idris is only getting older. So what are you going to do? Make it a one shot? Is he going to get, you know, a trilogy? Are you going to shoot it back to back? Because... I'm like, can we not waste these actors while they're here? We know we have great picks. Get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, you know, but I like how she also mentioned how um well, hold on. Let me let me let me get this cuz I you know, I got receipts too. Uh we've all been able to save it. okay, blah, blah, blah. we're not going to ta- we're not going to think about or talk about anyone else. That's fine. Right, but guess what? They also said that the hunt for James Bond will begin next year. That's from the same lady, Barbara Bar- uh, Broccoli. Same person, same person. Man, isn't that nice? Is isn't it nice to have producers that have so much energy, ready to think about the future and recast their characters? Before the movie even came out. By the way, that came out. They made that statement before No Time to Die even happened. And if you saw No Time to Die and you saw the ending of how it ended, you know, the end credit scenes was like, James Bond will return. Why? Because they believe in his story. They believe in his character. They was going to put that energy to keep that going. Must be nice. Must be nice. But anyway, um, yeah, I, listen, I would totally be down for uh, Idris Elba coming in and playing James Bond. Um, like I said, I just want them to hurry up. Like, don't wait until this dude is like 55, 60 years old and then be like, oh, okay, let's do one now. Like, hurry up. Hurry up. Just do it. Y'all n- stop acting like y'all not about to sit here and think about the future of your franchise. Like, just go get them, you know? Ugh, anyway. Didier. I don't know if these uh, talks are only talks and they still cast a white dude. Uh, This sounds like the Rooney rule for Hollywood. Yep, I feel you on that. And the Rooney rule, for some of y'all that don't know in the NFL, is basically a rule that uh, forces NFL coaches to – they must at least interview one minority coach in their hunt for the next coach, uh, head coach. Um, And it's like – it's basically a, a type of affirmative action. It doesn't mean that they're actually going to hire them, but at least they gave one a shot anyway. um, But it does kind of feel that way. But like I said, it would seem stupid not to talk to someone that I think most fans are very okay with. Now, I've had other people that I think could be a very good James Bond. I think that uh, I've said for a long time, Tom Hiddleston will be fantastic to be uh, to be James Bond. I mean, go watch his performance and call us uh, uh, Kong Skull Island. And you can see my man, he, he can do it. Don't think all he can do is Loki. He can be James Bond too. Um, but yeah, th- we're just going to have to see. We're going to have to wait and see. I mean, there are some good picks. Uh, yeah, you know, Ray J. Jean Page, I guess he could do it, the Bridgerton dude, um, you know, if they even want to go that route. 
Um, the one thing they have said is that they don't want to make James Bond a female, which I actually agree with. Um, and that's not to be sexist or anything, but it's like, just make another woman a 007 character, just like in the movie. They had 007. But then again, people don't really care about mantles. They care about the characters that define the mantles. Anyway. Uh, AJ, what you got? Basically, no black play. No black uh, will play Bond. Uh, that's how I take that comment. Maybe, maybe. I mean, we're going, we going, I'm a, I have to give them a little, I have to wait and see because I think that if they go cast somebody that's not Idris Elba or not black, then y'all really are saying with your actions, we don't want that because it's not like Idris Elba is not bankable. You know what I'm saying? It's not like this man is not box office already. When he makes a movie, people will go watch that, right? Um, he's a good enough draw. So, I yeah, I w- listen, they got one shot. This is their one shot because if they go get another actor right now, that next actor is probably going to be in that role for the next 10 years. You know, I don't think they're going to do a multi multiverse of James Bond, but uh, let's see what you got. Nerdy. Uh, I think Idris should be another 007 agent. Um, agent one shot film. I'm fine with that. Yeah, if they want to give him just one movie, fine. Like, I don't think every James Bond has to be, you know, a trilogy or whatever. Like, if they want to just give it to us with one, I'm fine with that. Do that. That's cool with me. Um, at least we can say we had it. Not hey, I bet you, I bet you, if you make Idris Elba James Bond, that's gonna hit a billy. I don't know if any other James Bond movies have ever hit a billion, but I think that one definitely has potential to do it. I think that would, just because of all the fan outcry and the wishes for that to happen. So we'll see. Um, Derek Gaines, E-Man, what's the difference between being 007 and James Bond? To me, it's like Clark Kent and Superman, they the same. No. Uh, So being 007 is just a title. It's just a mantle. Anyone can be a 007 agent. It's kind of like just having a ranking. Um, You know, you can have like 001s, 002s, whatever, Um, but it's just a mantle. It's just a title. Just like in the No Time to Die movie, another woman was 007. Um, Now, what you're talking about, though, and I think is speaking to the public perception of the role and the mantle. When you ingratiate a character so deeply with a mantle then they become indistinguishable, right? When you think of Bruce Wayne, you automatically think of Batman. Even if somebody else is running around with the cape and cow, you still be like, nah, Bruce Wayne is Batman. You know, because that's how much we've been ingrained with that, right? It's kind of the same thing with T'Challa. You've had 55 years of stories of T'Challa as Black Panther, even though he has the mantle, and even if other people have the mantle, People perceive him as the Black Panther. Why? Because he defined the mantle. 55 years of saying this is what Black Panther is, that is going to lead to the public perception of no matter whether he got the mantle or not, that's Black Panther. That's Bruce Wayne. That's also Batman. 007, that's James Bond. That comes because of recasting. It's because of recasting that you think that. I put it to you like this. Imagine if all the James Bond movies that we've had, because we've never had a 007 movie, imagine if they always change the character. If they always change the character, no one would care about James Bond. They would start to maybe care about 007. But that's not the that's not the way audiences work. Movie audiences do not go into movies for the title, mantle, or whatever. We go in for the characters. Those are what matter. But yeah, that's the difference. Hopefully that answers your question. Thank you, brother, for that so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.